Welcome to our lecture online. Here's our second example of how we use deductive reasoning. Here we're given that a number is equal to 0 0.1234 with a line on top of that. Of course, we need to understand what that means. And then we're asked, what is the 200 decimal place of that number? Okay, what we need to have in front of us is a box of rules and facts, things that we can rely on to help us solve this problem in a logical fashion. First of all, we need to understand the concept of a number like zero point and some decimal places with a line on top, which means that those two numbers keep repeating over and over and over again. So it's 0 0.32, 32, 32, and so forth forever. And so based upon that, we can go to our number and we can see that 0 0.1234 with a line on top means 0 0.1234 one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, on and on and on forever. And so that means that if we keep going, what will be the 200 decimal place of that number? What else do we need to know so we can come to a good, solid, logical conclusion that is correct? We need to realize that the number four, since there's four decimal places that keep repeating all the time, that the number four divides evenly in 100. 100 divided by four is 25, and therefore 200 divided by four is 50. That means that if we write this number with 200 decimal places, that will have the numbers one, two, three, four repeat 50 times. And so what that number then will look like is that will then be equal to zero point one, two, three, four. So that's the first four numbers. And Mac, I should draw a line like that, maybe just something like this. Four numbers. And then we have one, two, three, four. So that's the next four numbers. So now we have eight. So that would be the eight decimal place. And one, two, three, four. Now we have the 12 decimal place. And this will keep going to eventually, if we do this 50 times, 50 times four is 200. We have one, two, three, four. That will be 197, 198, 199, and that would be the 200 decimal place because we know that we're going to have 50 of these groups of numbers until we have 50 of them. The very last one will be the 200, and therefore the 200 decimal place is equal to the number 4. And that's how we come to a logical conclusion based upon the rules and the facts that we know. And that's how it's done.